Understanding that there is a ton of data, it is about starting small. So starting with that behavioral-based data uh, and that location data is a great way to start to build that unified customer profile so that you can start to build those different personalized experiences, even if it is a, a dynamic content block or a rules-based algorithm, there's a lot of value that you can drive quickly. But coming back to the theme of right, personalization is a buzzword um, and just thinking about you know what can you really personalize. It's really about understanding the visitor attributes and interactions of data that you might have around a different customer. So from a, a quick win perspective, I can do geo or location-based personalized experiences or dynamic content just by looking at IP addresses. That is a huge win, right? Um, just understanding if there is content that's relevant based on my location. If you know I'm looking at a, a local bank as a, a B2B company, I want them to understand that I'm in Chicago. So I don't want to see recommendations for banking options in uh, California. There are some foundational pieces uh, like location that you know can drive a lot of value just to show that you understand and are relevant. Other attributes um, or interactions that we're looking at are just pure, pure play. I understand that you've previously engaged with us. Um, you know, I think for a lot of our clients, uh, certainly in the B2B space, some of that is just understanding, you know, when they come onto the site, previous information or previous products that you've engaged with. Because of this, you might like this. Um, it is more so recognizing a product category um, versus the exact products that they looked at. You can do a lot by just acknowledging the general area uh, and providing recommendations on what might be applicable for them this time. 